and I am back. Woohoo! Alright, charge into the story mode. So sit back and relax. We're going to listen to some negotiations. Thank you for coming, Romeria. It's been a long time. Yes. Yes, it has been, Arze. I am so pleased to see you are well. Why, well, they're mighty Likewise, cordial for Romeria. each other for being at war. As as ever. And you have not changed one bit, I see. Seriously, it's like they know each other. <laughs> but what took you so long? I was starting to fear that one of our hardliners had done something foolish. Don't play dumb with us! By that I take it that something did happen. Please accept my deepest apologies. Those troublemakers had the impudence to suggest that we need not ally ourselves with Aquaria if we could stand up to the new enemy alone. They urged me to conquer Aquaria and take your new weapon for ourselves. That new weapon wouldn't have helped you much. For simple minds. They do not understand the dire consequences of misjudging this new enemy's strength. We are facing a much stronger threat this time, and cannot afford to exhaust our strength. Then you agree to our proposal? Yes. We have no other choice. Our military forces also sustained terrible losses in that recent attack. Out of the three brigades of Eriglyph, only the Storm Brigade still has a captain. Woltar is the only one left. And he's old. Hmm? What happened to Albel? I wonder if he was killed. But tell me, who is this enemy we face? I heard your agent's explanation the other day, but it made no sense to me. I felt the same way. Perhaps they can explain it to us again. Yes, I'll repeat myself again. Hmm. I have to admit, I find it hard to believe. What about you, Romeria? I must believe, Arze, lest both our countries be destroyed. Turning these outsiders over to this new enemy is another option, is it not? That might have been possible before, but now I am afraid it is no longer an option. Why is that? The enemy attacked the Shrine of Kadan. Kadan was attacked? Kadan has nothing to do with these outsiders. Once it came under attack, we realized that our lands had become the target of the enemy's aggression. Hence, there is but one thing left to try. Because she's smart. Engage she's so smart. Terms. Correct. We must unite the power of our nation's runological weapon and Aeriglyph's air dragons. This is no time to fret over national honor. That is correct. All right. Let us join forces. However, at present, having our air dragons carry your runological weapon will not be an easy task. Please explain. First, it is a matter of size. According to information obtained by our spies, your weapon would be too big to be carried by an air dragon. How about carrying it with more than one dragon? That too would be difficult. Uh, then what's the point of this alliance? Do not be so hasty, young man. The king said, at, at present. present. Huh? I said it's a matter of size. To carry a big weapon, we need a bigger air dragon. Where could we find such a beast? <laughs> In the Urza lava caves, near a place you have oh. already been. The Beccaril Mines. An air dragon. Of immense size dwells within the caverns there. So all we have to do is capture the critter? That critter. is correct. However, <laughs> mistaking this guy him is for a mere air dragon a would be suicide. The Marquis, as the beast is known, is a creature of immense size and strength. 
Even Vox was unable to subdue him. Do not fear, Arze. I trust they will be capable. I do not doubt you feel that way. However, our trust is not so easily given. Then what do you propose we do? Did you not consent to joining forces? I only request that a representative of Eriglyph be included in their party. Then I shall withdraw my objections. A just proposal. But who would you have go? Voltar? <laughs> no, Voltar is much too old. I do not have the heart to send him into the Urza Lava Caves. I was thinking of someone else. <laughs> and who might that be? I was thinking about sending Albel. Albel? Of all do people. you object? I, for one, am quite fond of him. What do you think, Romeria? I consent. This Albel shall travel with the party. You do not mind, do you? Oh. I personally don't mind, but... Doesn't matter what we think. The problem's gonna be <laughs> what Albel thinks. Yeah, pretty much. Then it is settled. Albel will be waiting for you in Eriglyph. You can meet him there. We understand. We will be expecting you. I must ask that you take us to Paterni. Claire can escort us from there. After that, you may head to Aragon. Your Majesty. Well, alrighty then. So, there you go. Negotiations concluded. It's promising. Maybe a little foreboding, but otherwise, you know. And, uh... Don't worry. This isn't the last time you see this place. It is for the time being, but you notice I only covered about 20% of the map, going over the entire floor. Yeah, there's a lot more to this place than uh, than you actually get to see, at least for the purposes of story. But like I said, it's only just for now. Uh, it's still not going to open, okay. So now I just got to get out of here, get them back to the turn. Ah, nice. That's a good start. Out of reach. <laughs> he paid for that. So now all we have to do is cross the desert. Which actually, if I recall, now that I've been through it, I don't have to deal with the whole water game. Just the monsters. <laughs> Steering clear. Yeah, so now is your chance to fully explore this if you wish. Again, you don't get the map coverage, but any chests that you may not have received. This is the perfect time to go back and get them. I think I did a pretty decent job of getting them all the first time through, so... Shouldn't be too big of a deal.
just have to get through this nightmare cave. Stupid boulders. No, you don't. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Somebody had fun there. Giant red chicken. Oh. Yeah, I did it again. Keep walking into this damn dead end. Alright. Mm. Here I go. Bring it on. Not today, you don't. Oh no. did like that for a second. They just killed Cliff. They just killed me. Saved it before I got here. Let's see. Let's put back up. This is the party from hell that will drop you if you're not paying attention. Phew, that was close. Get me the hell out of here. Totally hitting up and in on the way. Should be right here. Ah. Yeah, sure, you can have it. She is a crafter, so what you need is one that does crafts. So I'm going to give her that. one more ice coffin on me and I was hosed. 
<laughs> I'm so tired. Alright guys, so on that note, that's a good time to call a break. Uh, next stop will be Paterni, and then we will send everyone on their way and head on our own. So, see you on the next run.